all men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Protégé, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I 
wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I made him want what's mine. Give me that back. Oh, no. Oh, shut up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. You're all right, Pim. What? Hmm, no, that's not it either. upstairs.
be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. No, that's not it either. Wait, here it is. No, that's not it either. No, that's not it either. here. ¡Ratita callejera! ¡Suélteme! ¡Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí! Don't mind if I do. Anyway, ah, 
कहाँ पर टीम दिया हो Upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush it now, but <sighs> move it along. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm just gonna have to get a lady with it. You know what I mean? You can even know. friend. Find a way to get that wallet. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Split! 
ultimate devil. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Get the wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? There it is. Oh, 
guy. He's heading for the roof. Catch him! <laughs> Change! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Shit! Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? shaking for just close your eyes this won't hurt a bit What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. 
I did just save your ass back then. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would've done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis? Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Uh, so, like a boarding school? That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlo's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that rocket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> 
could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean, I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay in this good time. <laughs> all right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their home. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. You do? Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit, the filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie, what's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. It'll all be over soon. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. That's blocked. Wait. We can get around this way. You two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for yeah. my taste. Uh, <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Uh, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing? Not a chance. So, which door's Gary Poppins only behind? Behind that one there, the green one. They drove in ages ago and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. No one's gone in or out. Really? You think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes, they're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up, just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? 